All right, the third and last video for section 1.6 deals with piecewise functions. And that's uh, all we're going to be concerning ourselves with in this video is how to graph a piecewise function. It's uh, a peculiar thing to me because graphing a piecewise function is just graphing two separate equations on the same graph. Uh, but for whatever reason, it causes uh, some people a lot of trouble. So hopefully we can get this sorted out. All right, so a piecewise function is one that is split into two different, or even more, maybe three different functions, depending on what the value of x is. For example, you might have one function uh, for negative values of x, but a second different function for positive values of x. And the way they show it is like this. Okay, so what this is saying is, for all the x's that are less than or equal to zero, use this function. For all the x's that are greater than zero, use this function. Okay? And they're, they're going to be giving you functions that you already know how to graph. Things like lines and uh, parabolas. I think that's really about it. So, let's take a look at this exact example and uh, figure out how to graph it on this graph here. Well first of all this number line is going to act as kind of our uh, divider because on one side of it we have one equation and on the other side we have the other. Okay so how do I graph 3x minus 1? Okay well my, my y-intercept is at 1 and the slope is uh, 3, so from there I go up 1, 2, 3, and over 1, so my graph would look like this. Okay. However, I have no need for any of this stuff here simply because the graph only wants 3x minus 1 for the negative values. Okay, so ultimately, that part of the graph is going to look like that. Alright, now, the second part, for all the values that are greater than 0, is 2 plus x. Okay, well, my y-intercept for that is 2. My slope is 1, so from there, I'm going to go up 1 over 1 all the way. And so that graph would look like that. Okay, and that's really all there is to it except for one little thing. And that is, notice that we have inequalities right there. One of them is a less than or equal to, the other is a greater than. So one of them is going to have a filled in circle and the other one's going to have an empty circle. Okay, the 3x minus 1 gets the filled in circle because it has the equals. And the 2 plus x graph has the hollow circle. And that is exactly how you graph that problem. So let's move on and try another one. And then the next one we're going to do is going to be a little more difficult only because instead of being uh, x is less than or equal to 0, it's going to be an actual number. So we can't look at the number line as our dividing point. This time it's at negative 1. So the first thing that I like to do is kind of draw a little border. There's negative 1. It's going to be one graph on the left hand side of it and one graph on the right hand side of it. Okay. Ultimately, you may want to erase that line for the final graph, but I think it helps to start you out. All right, so x plus 3. I'm going to do this one a little different from the last one because I'm going to make the entire graph. x plus 3 has a y-intercept of 3 and a slope of 1. It looks like this. x squared plus 1 is a parabola moved up one spot, so it looks like this. Okay. 
Now I have the whole graphs up there, but some of that is going to get chopped off because remember, we have that border value and we only want one graph on each side of it. Okay, so the x plus 3 gets cut off at negative 1, so it's only to the left. So I have to take this part off. And then the parabola is good to the right-hand side of that line, which means I'm going to have to chop this part off. That's your final graph. And there's only one more thing that I would add, and that's this point right here. And the reason that I add that is so that there's no confusion about what the value is at x equals negative 1. They both meet up at that point. So it's obviously going to be... Uh, a filled in circle right there. And that's how you do a piecewise function. Arrivederci.